Hey guys, Sure Shot Midget here, gonna do a short ish video on this gun. So, this is a BFC Polar Star Fusion engine. Um, it's kind of a conglomerate of a bunch of different brands and tossed together. This is my brother's, and he did sell it already. Um, it needed fixed, so I had to fix it, and uh, it's ready to ship off and because it's already been sold. But I thought I'd make a short video on it. So I'm not 100% sure what the guy's rules are for his field, so I kind of just tested it as a baseline, and he can adjust the feet per second accordingly. So let's go ahead and just talk about uh, the gun itself. So let's start from the front and go to the back. So this is very bare, of course. Um, it was sold already, so he's gonna uh, personalize it, I would assume. Uh, this would be, this gun is begging for a foam filled suppressor, like one of those short matrix ones with uh, foam inside of it. Mm. It would make this gun really nice and quiet, it's begging for that. And then, uh, you know, some sort of T1 or a holographic or a, a, anything, really. Whatever scope you, or a reflex sight you want to put on here, you can. The rail is from a Crytac. As you can see, that's the Crytac's logos. This is the Alpha rail, so it's not Keymon, it's M-Lock. The length on it is like 9 inches from what I believe, from what I can remember, and I think the barrel is like 10 or 12, something like that. Uh, the body is VFC, the lower is VR16, the upper is marked Airsoft Junkies, so I'm not sure, but it is VFC OEM, I'm not sure how this gun came about, if the gun was built by Airsoft Junkies and he had like two different uppers, and somehow the other upper just disappeared, and this one made its way on here, and then it got to my brother, and then my brother sold it to someone else. No idea. I have no idea the story on this, but it does have the VR16 lower, which has the kind of unique trigger guard and the QRS grip, um, and it's the black and then tan lower, so it's kind of cool looking. I'm not a huge fan of the tan or bronze color of this, but it does look kind of unique with everything else being black. It has a standard crane stock on here. The FCU and battery is held inside the buffer tube because this has no storage slots on the side. It's kind of a dumb uh, mock crane stock, um, but it's just got a 7.4 lipo, 700, uh, 300 milliamp, and then the FCU is tucked down in there as well. I've got all nice settings on here. Got it set for 30 rounds a second, which I think is a good baseline for most players and uh, semi-auto. Inside the engine we have a HPA speed trigger, a IGL which is like a gray and white which actually looks pretty cool but it's kind of in not the best shape over here. Um, and it has a red nozzle, a red poppet, and no banjo fitting. So it does have some good parts. Red nozzle with the red poppet is a good mix. The hop up is a pro win, and then I think it's a pro me purple bucking, and I'm not sure what barrel it is, but it is brass, and it seems pretty high quality. So it might be like um, one of the higher quality ones. It might even be an Orga. I'm not 100% sure, but I know it's not some random crappy one. My brother did tell me that he didn't have any guns and he was can't wait to go and play, so maybe he's a new player. I don't know, um, but that's just what my brother said. He was going to try to ship this gun out tomorrow because the guy was uh, can't wait to go play because he hasn't been able to play for a while. It sounded like he didn't have any gear. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the chrono test. I'd recommend high caps with .3s, but I also brought a mid cap with two fives. So if it feeds with two fives with mid caps, you could probably use two fives and it shoot great. Um, as far as range, even at this FPS, you know, about 350, 200 feet with threes, no problem. Uh, this thing shoots really good. It is a fusion engine after all. Okay, so I went ahead and cranked it up to 80 from 70, so a little bit higher. 322, 322, 317, 324, 321. 324, 320, 322, 324, 321. So that is 1.44 joules with .3s. So this is where I'd run it outdoors. Um, this is about 370 with a .2, which is close to that um, FPS limit of 1.5 joules. Because um, like I said, that's about 380. So 370 is just a little bit below that. That's where I would play at an indoor and outdoor, or sorry, outdoor field. I guess if your indoor field allows up to 370, I would too. Actually, indoor, I'd probably just turn it way down because people love to complain about HPA indoor. So I'd turn it way down. You could get like 
probably 250 FPS with a point three, which is around like 310 with the two, and it'll feed at that. So if you're playing indoor, I'd encourage you to crank it down to like probably 60 PSI and shoot really low FPS. But for outdoor use, um, 80 PSI, 370 with a point two, which is 1.45 joules with threes, semi full auto, do it. Again, I'd say 200 feet with point threes for sure. Hop it needs to go up just a little bit. Because it is a uh, Polar Star Fusion engine, it's got the clicky button. You might be able to hear the click over the, the uh, actual solenoids firing. Um, but the trigger pull is nothing, it's been shortened. Anything. Semi fine, let's just dump it on pull auto. Okay, <laughs> uh, it's safe to say that it can uh, completely dump a magazine. So, in conclusion for this, if you want to use mid caps, use .25s and lower the hop up. If you um, are fine using high caps, pop .3s in there, you'll get a little bit more joules out of it, a little bit more consistency um, with the high caps with the heavier BBs, but. And as you can see, that is really fast on semi. Generally, the only time I ever shoot that fast is uh, outdoor. I'll shoot that fast outdoor, no problem. But indoor, since you're such close quarters, I normally do triple taps, double taps, sort of thing. Every now and again, I'll go in and hammer my trigger like so teammates can move up indoors, but generally, outdoors is the only time that I'm actually hammering my trigger at people. And that's because of the distance. So you see the semi does its job, let's see full auto. Okay, so that's it for this gun. I thought I'd just make a short video on it. Um, it performs really, really well. Like I said, that was 30 rounds a second, which is a good baseline rate of fire, you know, for somebody's first HPA gun. Um, again, he's going to run about 370 with a .2. But yeah, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry it's just a bland gun. There's nothing on here cool, but I really hope the person that bought it will put an optic on there, you know, put a grip suppressor foam filled and uh, he will be able to laser people from a long way away so if you have any questions or anything let me know and I will see you on the next video